Hello dear friends, before going to the video, please subscribe our channel for more new videos and information regarding his marriage to Yvonne McGuinness, his children, and where they all reside, the Irish Hollywood star keeps quiet. Despite playing a number of roles, such as those in Bapham Begins and Inception, Cillian Murphy has managed to maintain the highest level of privacy in his personal life. The Peaky Blinders actor has made it a point to keep his marriage and family life private because he does not want his private life to be made public. He rarely discusses his wife of nearly 20 years, Irish artist Yvonne McGuinness, and their two children, Maggie, 17, and Aaron, 15, choosing instead to concentrate on his professional commitments. The cork -born actor can now unwind and spend time with his family in Ireland before committing to new projects now that he has left the role of Tommy Shelby behind after six seasons of the Birmingham gangster drama and Christopher Nolan's eagerly awaited film Oppenheimer, in which he plays the titular role as Rapt. April 4, 2023 Update Cillian Murphy has spent the past year putting in a lot of effort to balance family life and Hollywood since completing Peaky Blinders in 2022. The actor has already worked on three upcoming films, Oppenheimer, 28 Months Later, and Kensuke's Kingdom. In addition to providing his voice for the video game Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom. Both McGuinness and Murphy put a lot of effort into keeping their sons out of the public eye, so neither of their two sons are on social media or frequently participate in any interview conversations Cillian has while working. How did Yvonne McGuinness and Cillian Murphy meet? Being by Murphy's side since his early acting days, Yvonne McGuinness has seen his career grow. Murphy used to play guitar, sing, and write lyrics for the sons of Mr. Green Jeans, and turned down a record deal at the time the couple first met in 1996 at one of the actor's jazz funk band performances. The two later got married in 2004. Their two sons were born in 2005 and 2007 to the couple. Curiosity. In the middle of the 1990s, Murphy began acting. In 1996, he made his stage debut. His breakthrough performance on the big screen came in Danny Boyle's zombie hit 28 Days Later. Since that time, the Irish celebrity has never looked back and frequently works with other well-known figures in the field. Christopher Nolan stands out among them. In addition to Dunkirk, Inception, and the Dark Knight trilogy, Murphy will be seen in the Oppenheimer film this summer. He has always been secretive and reticent to divulge information about his personal life, especially his family, despite his rising fame. I didn't think of myself as having a personality. In 2021, he admitted to the Irish Times, I see myself as an actor. Those are two different jobs, in my opinion. And representing other people is my job. I can portray other people more accurately the less people know about me. To me, that seems logical and blatantly obvious. Where do Cillian Murphy's family and he reside? A few years before getting hitched, in 2001, Murphy and McGuinness relocated to London. They reportedly spent more than 10 years in the English capital, where they brought up their sons, before deciding to return to Ireland in 2015. During an interview for the podcast Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard in April 2022, Murphy stated, We wanted the kids to be Irish. They were sort of at that age where they were preteens, they had very posh English accents, and I wasn't appreciating that too much. So we decided to come back. Parents are of a certain age, it was just a nice time to go home, he continued. Murphy and Guinness, according to the Irish Mirror, purchased a six-bedroom terraced home in the South Dublin neighborhood of Monkstown. The actor stated in June 2021 that he and his family relocated to Ireland from the United States to be closer to family, acknowledging that it was the best thing he and his family did. The children are a specific age. In my opinion, it's great, thrilling, and stimulating to live in a global capital in your 20s and 30s, whether it's New York, London, or somewhere else, he told the Irish Times. Then comes a point where the excellent and stimulating things become a little bit tedious and exhausting. 
you requested something quieter, so we gave it to you. Cillian Murphy's Family Life An inside look Murphy makes an effort to spend as much time as he can with his family, despite the fact that his job occasionally requires him to travel. He recently shared how his family kept him grounded when he was transitioning between roles, particularly when he needed to fast before starting a new project. You must set aside time for solitude and travel. During these times, I try to stay in touch with my family. I believe that greatly aids me, the actor told GQ. Murphy previously admitted to the magazine that he makes an effort to limit the number of projects he takes on, so that he can spend at least half the year with McGuinness and their kids. In 2019, he stated, that work-life balance thing is hard. I have a wonderful wife, and I couldn't do this without her support. But it's a battle. It is, in my opinion, for every father whose job keeps him away from his family, as it usually does, and consumes him, as mine does. I try to avoid changing jobs frequently, because doing so implies that you live in a bubble of set, hotel, set, hotel, plane, and film festivals, which, in my opinion, is not reality. I simply take a six-month break from it each year.